open ai has a new initiative for the universities this initiative is primarily focused on big universities in countries like us uk europe australia but it has started from us the initiative is good but my problem is that i'm a bit confused about this offering this offering is being touted as an affordable offering for universities that want to bring ai into their campus it's quite a broad statement now most of the universities which i know here in sydney they all are using office 365 and microsoft copilot and they already have access to copilot pro as part of their package universities always and already receive uh, a discount because of their status as universities here in australia at least and i know for a fact in us too so why would a university would want to pay extra for something they already have is open ai going to remove the ai or that copilot thing from office 365 also if a university and most of the universities are in microsoft azure as i know especially here in sydney and they already have access to this so that is where uh, i'm a bit confused as how would this be attractive so but i think only time will tell because still we don't really know about pricing and how it is going to get combined with that existing infrastructure and also the good thing about is that the copilot pro already has a pretty strict data confidentiality and the university people like it so but i have my doubt that many universities are going to buy this extra package anyway let's have a quick look as what exactly this chat gpt ajo is it is a version of chat gpt which is built and tailored for universities to responsibly deploy AI to students, faculty, researchers, and campus operations. It is powered by the flagship model GPT-4 O, and it can uh, reason across multi modalities like text, vision, and also you can use the advanced tools of function calling like data analysis. And it comes with an enterprise level security, and as I mentioned earlier, data conf confidentiality is really good, and it is already part of that Copilot Pro. So, and I have tested it. Looks. really cool and very very solid so another thing is that how it can help so chat gpt can help with various tasks across campus such as providing personalized tutoring for students and reviewing their cvs also it can help the phd researchers write grant applications and assisting faculty with grading and feedback Also, they have lot of university partners which are finding new and novel ways to embed AI, and that is where this looks good because OpenAI has worked with few of the universities in US and elsewhere to get this rocking. And I think one of them is Arizona State University, and I think Wharton too. So, um, with the help of ChatGPT, the universities will have access to their premier model GPT-4 O. and they can do multi modalities coding mathematics reasoning or whatever <clears throat> gpt4 o can do and there are a lot of things it can do and we have already covered it in detail on the channel you can do um, code interpreter data analytics web browsing document summarization and lot of other things and there are heaps of documents which universities use i think that is going to be a huge success there and then you can have uh, your own custom gpts which you can build out of it and then you can just deploy them securely and safely within your own university campuses and uh, one thing which openai is going to offer to universities because of their research status is more bandwidth more message limits so they won't really struggle for um the api throttling and that sort of stuff and then uh, it has multi modalities over 50 languages it supports which is awesome and then it already has um rback enable which is a rollback access control with a gpt and then cool thing is that whatever university is using that gpt4 o open ai is not going to train and use that data uh, and it's not going to train their model on top of that data so which is quite good to know so all in all i think integrating this technology into the education system is quite good so and it will be specially beneficial beneficial for the companies who are not using azure who are not using copilot pro so they can really take advantage of this i really wish and hope but i i'm very very hopeful that this initiative will be 
rolled out to not only in um, the US and that uh, part of the world but also in the Africa in Asia and across every country every university which is eligible which is there which is solid and recognized so that's it guys i will drop the link to this press release from openai in video description let me know what do you think about this if you're already using copilot pro and if you're uh, attached to a university very keen to hear your thoughts on it if you think this will make sense especially if you're already using copilot pro and you have access to this do you think that you will just switch to this or you will use both of them together or which one will you get rid of that's it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching